What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at the new insights on FIFA 21. But today we're looking at FIFA 21 career mode because there is a lot of change and I'll be showing you in this episode what changes there are to the game. I think EA have finally realised that career mode is probably the best game mode but they never add any new features on it, they just make it even worse. You can't ask for money or, or anything. So well, let's have a look. So, career mode, manage every moment, new additions create additional depth in matches, transfers and training to give you more control over your team's rise to the top. Experience a whole new way to play out your season with the new interactive match sim, jump in and out of matches to influence the course of the action, or take charge of key moments including penalties and free kicks to change the outcome of the match. Monitor match data and make changes directly from the sim based on the match stats in your players' performance. So, summoner! Wow! Well, as you can see here, the picture of it looks like you can resume, jump in to the game, this is like a free kick or something, I just want to start playing, and quick sim just to sim right to the end. There's also stamina to see the play stamina, ratings to see obviously the ratings, and stats obviously in game plan. So if there was a penalty in the last minute or freak in the last minute, you can just quickly jump into the game and take it. It's a bit like Football Manager. I think they're going in the way of football manager. Um, they might get sued. I don't know, they shouldn't do. But yeah. Next one. Manage your players for development in greater detail with a revamped raw system. Turn right backs into right wingers, defensive midfielders into centre backs, and more to fill gaps in your team. Monitor player attribute changes during training to see how your squad is progressing. Wow. That is something everyone wanted for years. So you can train people, train positions. A bit like Pez, I really need this because if you've got a problem in right wing, your right back can go to right wing, or your left back can go to left wing, or your camp can go to striker without them playing crap. Next one, get more insight into your squad performance levels with match sharpness, a new attribute that indicates how likely your players are to perform in the most crucial moments during the course of the game. Increase your players' sharpness with a new active training system that gives you the ability to set up group training sessions. Improve the likelihood of your strikes putting big chances away or of or of defenders making key tackles. Wow, this is pretty much what I'm managing now with the mass sharpness and the raw system and everything, but I don't mind it. I, don't, I do play football manager a lot. So yeah, it looks like you can pretend to be the coach or the manager and just plan the sessions, do all the sessions. This is what we need from here. Next one, plan your team's training schedule with a new activity management system. Decide when to train and when to rest during the week as you balance your players' sharpness with morale and fitness to make the difference between winning and losing. Well, finally, we've got a bit of common sense in the game. It used to just be all oh, better ratings wins. If you're away against a good team, you've automatically lost. Enhanced opposition AI sees opponents approach games with more intelligence in both defence and attack. New systems create more AI decision making in marking, tackling, passing and dribbling, presenting you more challenges during each match to keep your career fresh from game to game. Finally, some like intelligence in the game, which has never been in the game. They're not intelligent. This is now the biggest one. Football manager. FIFA 21 Korean mode enhances transfer realism Football Manager, by providing both human and AI controlled teams with new ways to sign players, make loan to buy offers with optional or mandatory future trees to secure new talent for your team, and respond to AI manager initiated player swap proposals to master the transfer market. This is good as if you don't have any money right now, we can do an optional future fee, I'm guessing. At the end of this, like at the end of the season, if you don't have any money, but you will get some at the NC and obviously because sponsorships and that. So you can just get them and even if you have done money it's optional unless you do it mandatory and have to buy them. Last one, customise your career mode with new initial setup options, get a more true to life experience of negotiating signings on the transfer market with authentic transfers or boost your team start and budget help with the squad with financial takeover. Being honest, I never use financial takeover because it's a bit cheating isn't it? But I should use it more often because it's like an extra 50 million or something. But yeah, full reveal is coming in August. 
If you want more videos like this, there's way more features and everything with new icons and all that. See ya in the next video. Bye.